Uh, I'm Christopher Alden, I'm the stage director of Les Contes d'Orthman and the Tales of Orthman. It's just a, such a wonderfully uh, accessible piece, really. Um, the whole thing has a kind of uh, sci-fi, sort of 19th century sci-fi, Jules Verne kind of uh, aspect to it and uh, the fantastical nature of, of, of the stories. And uh, our, our, uh, you know, it's just, it's just very, uh, it's very powerful stories. And, um, the fact that it's all, it's all these short, short stories instead of one long story. I think also it's, I don't, it's kind of like these different, uh, you know, bites, different kind of sound bites, and uh, kind of fascinatingly circling all around the same subject. And I, think the, I think the idea in this production that uh, my designers and I are kind of maybe taking away some of the, some of the fantastical fantasy layers kind of maybe removing those to some to some degree and trying to focus in uh, on uh, what we think is quite uh, fascinating psychology uh, of the characters in this piece. Um, and especially when you have uh, one woman playing all the heroines, uh, which we do this time around, which I haven't in the past. Uh, it actually really changes, uh, the, to me, the focus of the piece. And you're, even though there's these different stories, three different stories with a, with a prologue and an epilogue, really four different situations, when you have the same people playing the different characters in these stories, in a way, it be, you, it, it, you can focus on a, psycho, a sort of through line for, the, for, for these characters uh, who, who sort of assume different identities as the, as the opera goes on, but in a way are always to, in, in, on some level the same characters and you watch them develop in a kind of fascinating, uh, uh, perverse uh, sorts of ways. And uh, that's very much the focus of this production. In fact, instead of doing it in, in four different locations, it's all within one location that transforms uh, subtly, but you always have a sense that you're in the same, uh, in the same locale. Yeah, well, the piece is, very, for me, very much um, about uh, artists and uh, their kind of uh, uh, in interesting, uh, edgy relationship with their art. And um, you, you see it in Hoffmann's relationship with his muse, but I think just as much you see it uh, in, the, in the kind of intense relationship that tracks through the whole show between Hoffmann and uh, Stella, the, the, the famous opera singer, who he's been obsessed with for years. And uh, in a way, I think she's also like uh, an, an aspect of his own art, and you see this, this uh, kind of uh, edgy relationship between the artist and, and his, his art, and it's kind of a, a love-hate relationship, and uh, it's full of, you know, desire and uh, um, intense uh, connection, but also, also full of uh, darker things about uh, the struggle to create and, the, you know, and uh, what that takes out of somebody and how, in a way, to, to, to uh, a kind of, uh, you know, the downside of, 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 of artists is that often the, uh, the more screwed up somebody is in their personal life, that, if anything, just feeds their art. And we know so many examples of, of people like that uh, from, our, from our own world who uh, are just, you know, the, the, if they were healthier, if they, if they were healthier people and, and were more successful in, in relationships, um, they probably wouldn't uh, be able to bring all of, all of that, uh, all of that stuff to, to their art. And I think this piece is, uh, talks about that in, uh, in uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, extraordinary.